So for this problem, we have the integration of x squared multiplied by the square root of 1 minus x uh, dx. So what we can do is just use substitution. So u can be set equal to the inside of the denominator. u is equal to 1 minus x. Now we, now we can do the derivative of both sides, so du, and then derive this. So derivative of negative x will be negative dx. Now remember that the actual problem has a positive dx. So we can multiply both sides by negative 1. Therefore, we get negative du is equal to dx. Now remember, even though we have now a square root of u, right, is we substitute it in, um, the thing is we still have x squared, and we can't take the integration of two variables, two different variables. So what we can do is take the same equation and try to get x squared from it. So then we can, we can substitute it with a u version. So we can take u equals 1 minus x, and then subtract 1 on each side. So we get u minus 1 is equal to negative x. Now multiply both sides by negative 1, so we get negative u, right? So if we multiply everything by negative 1, it'll be negative u, and then negative 1 times um, negative 1 will be just positive 1, and then negative times negative x is just positive x. Now to get x squared, we square both sides. So now we have that. Remember, we got negative du, so we always have to keep a negative sign outside of the entire integral. So now we have negative u plus 1, right? Um, we have negative u plus 1 because that's what we got here, squared. Same thing as here, because that equals x squared. And then we have square root of u, because I said u equals 1 minus x, so we plug in a u right there. Now we can start um, changing it so we can actually do the integral. So square root of u, we can change that to u to the one-half power. That means the same thing, but it helps us um, because uh, when we need to integrate it. So now, when we once we have this, this we can expand this, right? And just quick review, when we expand it, it's just we multiply negative u plus 1 uh, times negative u plus 1. So negative u times negative u is just u squared, negative u... Uh, plus 1 is negative u, and then negative u times 1 is just negative u, so negative 2u, and then 1 times 1 is just 1. So that's where I got this, u squared minus negative 2u plus 1. So after we get that, we can multiply all of these things by u to the 1 half power. Now, to show that um, is right here, right? So we have u squared multiplied by u to the 1 half power, and so when we multiply things, and if they have exponents, it's the same as adding the exponents. But since uh, you can rewrite 2 as 2 over 1, right? Uh, u, 2, plus 1 half, you can write it as 2 over 1. But that shows us when we add it, we can't add it just like this, because when we add fractions, the denominators have to be the same. So we multiply it by 2 over 2, so that we get 4 over 2. And now we can add it because the denominators are the same. So we get u is equal to 5 over 2. So now we do the same thing, right? So we have u over 5, 2. And now we do the same thing for this one. So it'll become negative 2. This is u to the 1 over 1, right? So we can just change that to negative 2 u to the 2 over 2. And so when we add it, or when we multiply it, the exponents will add. So it'll be 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which we get 3 over 2. Then we have 1 times u over 1 half, which we get u to the power of 1 half, du. So now since we have all of that, we can finally integrate it. So we have u over 5 over 2, so we add 1, right? So when we add 1 to this, that's the same as adding 2 over 2, so we get 7 over 2. Now we bring this down and invert it, right? So 7 over 2 inverted is just 2 over 7. Now over here, we for since we already have a 2 right here, we can bring it to the outside, and in parentheses, we can do u, and then it'll be, once again, plus 1, but we can write 1 as 2 over 2, so it'll be uh, plus 2 over 2, which is equal to 5 over 2. Uh, it comes down, and then you invert it, so it'll become 2 over 5, and then finally, over here, it'll be plus 2 over 2, so 3 over 2, invert it, so 2 over 3. And then finally, plus c. So don't, don't forget the plus c, because that's an easy way to lose points. 
Now, remember that we can't keep this in this expression, right? Because the original problem started out as x's. So what we do is we plug in what we had for u. So what we had for u was 1 minus x. So it'll be 2 over 7, 1 minus x, same power, 2. And then we can, since this was on the outside, we can multiply it. So it'll become negative 4 over 5. u is 1 minus x. Once again, 1 minus x. And then don't forget the plus c. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.